friends, how's it going? So, a couple of weeks ago, I went to see Steps. If you haven't heard of Steps, they're a band that are currently active. They started back in 1997, and oh my god, they were like my favorite childhood band. Oh my god, my bro, I love them so much. Like, you possibly would know their song, Tragedy. Um, five, six, seven, eight. Um, oh my god, there's so many other different songs. But yeah, they sang so many good dance songs. And like, okay, one thing I, I learned is like, when I went to the concert, oh my god. Okay, first who played, covered for them, was the Venga Boys, who were another 90s band, who actually, when I found out at the concert, they have been going since the 90s. They never stopped. Maybe they've been like, kind of like, slow pace possibly, I don't know. I never really paid attention to their music much. From my teen years, because... Like when I was a kid, I did like the Venga Boys. Like, come on, everyone's gonna know. We're going to eat pizza. Ooh, yo, back to the island. You know that song. Just the Venga Boys were so good. I, I love them, but not as much as Steps. But when the Venga Boys, I, I, it's funny. I start off. Let's just do story time on this point. Before I went to the concert, so let's see. I was working on the day of the concert. I thought I wasn't, but it turns out I was. I had to grab a taxi into the city. So I work in Intel in Kildare. That's like a half an hour outside the city. The show was starting at 7 o'clock. No, at half 7. And I was finishing work at 7 p.m. Which was terrible because I had to literally go and run for my life to get out of work. Okay, funny story. I was working and I called for a taxi, said, can you pick me up at my building? There was two different entrances. I said the west entrance to pick me up at, which is the entrance I am closest to. So I just called, pick me up the west entrance. They said, okay, that's fine. So work was over. I pelted out of there and went for the taxi that was waiting for me at the west entrance. So I was like, yeah, naturally. I jumped in, we drove off, I was on the way. I, I like apologise to the guy for, for missing his phone call because there was a taxi driver going to call me saying that he was outside. So what I did was, my phone was on flight mode charging and, okay, <laughs> I was in the taxi, we are on the motorway, when I suddenly get a call. I was like, who's this? Hello? They said, hi, they said, we're, we have a taxi for you outside Intel, the IR6 building. I was like, what? I'm in a taxi right now. What are you talking about? He says, no, we're outside the building. We were, he, they were at the east entrance. <laughs> I literally, and then suddenly I was like, are you not here for Kieran O'Reilly? And he was like, no, I'm not. What? I was like, oh no, I'm actually already in a taxi. So and then suddenly this ended the phone call and I was literally panicking. I was like, oh my God, what the f I ain't gone into someone else's taxi. So, <laughs> that's what happened. I lit took me and another guy, both ordered taxis to pick us up at, from the Intel building that we were at. <laughs> and then I, we found, then I literally stole this guy's taxi. And I was there like, because when I was on the phone, I was like, where are you going? When Charles said, I was like, uh, I was supposed to be going to the Tree Arena. <laughs> oh, I was literally so, I, I, I was literally like, Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> then I told him, oh my god, I, I shouldn't be in this taxi. <laughs> I should be in another taxi. And, but the guys kept driving. He asked me where was I going. I said, oh, it's the three arena. He's like, well, I'm going the same way, so it's fine. I'll, I'll just take you there. So literally, I stole some guy's taxi. So this guy was probably wondering, where the hell's my taxi? Funny thing was, I think he actually took the taxi I ordered. <laughs> So we literally stole each other's taxis and the guy who called this guy for a taxi never called him and we kind of deciphered that obviously the guy must have taken the other taxi. It was such a funny thing. I was there like what? And like I tweet and say like I think I just stole some guy's taxi. <laughs> it's so funny. This guy both times I got called by a taxi driver and so did the other guy. The other guy never picked up the phone, and I never picked up the phone, so let's see, when I said to the guy, taxi driver, sorry I missed your phone call, I was charging my phone, he goes, oh it's fine. So, <laughs> both of us were confused at the, that, uh, when we got in the taxi, oh my god. So, yeah. Moving the story on, so he took me to the three arena, 
there was a lot of red lights and I was panicking I was going to miss the start of the Venga Boys which I did not want to miss the start of because I want to hear all their classics from the 90s so I was like oh I'm going to miss some parts of it but we got to the three arena pulled up I was said thanks had a lot of money head in the door the content had not started whatsoever so I was pretty happy about that I got in the door enjoyed the Venga Boys music if you you will follow my Instagram story you would have seen all the different clips would I would have so happy if I would have saved it but I never saved I only saved one story and that was the star of it oh I had the best time of my life at the Steps concert because it was so good they had played all a lot of songs from their previous albums as well as the current album they have Party on the Dance Floor Actually, there you know, was tears on the dance floor. Oh my god, my my inner childhood made me scream, sing, and dance to every single song they did. Because no, my inner childhood went absolutely insane. Oh, I was so happy. Like you have no idea how much of an impact that steps had on my life. One of my best concerts ever because I loved going to it so much. I oh. I, fr I was freaking out, I was screaming at the top of my lungs, I was dancing, I was uh, singing, dancing and screaming, that's all I was doing for the entire concert and the next morning when I, got, when I woke up my voice was like ah, ah. I saw literally every time I talk and come out like that I was like okay I definitely screamed a lot at that concert because I never have done that much screaming that my voice had been feeling weird like oh that concert my blew my mind I was so happy when I was like oh my god this is amazing I I concert that I loved as a kid that oh I just blew, got blown away so let's flash back to back in the 90s when the steps first start off I basically was a child who was eccentric and all that and two bands I loved as a kid Steps and S Club 7 both bands who were like did sing and dance a lot in their music videos and I loved them so much and like no matter what you get more Steps than the S Club 7 if they showed up on the TV I would dance every I would follow their dance moves and I would do all the dance moves that, that they did because that's how much I loved them and like that's basically why at the concert I would follow, I would dance all the steps because I knew every single one of them. And they kept they were looking at me when I was dancing. And one of them was smiling, and like face when she was dancing. She looked at me and smiled because I was following the dancers. And I was like, I had a, uh, an ultra fan boy moment. And she looked at me and smiled. And I was like, ah. <laughs> oh yes, uh, but yeah. So I would I would dance so much. But as I was heading home from the concert, I never realised how much of an impact that Steps had on me. Like I said, I would dance their songs all the time. I would love it so much. I loved their music. I loved spending, like watching them on the TV whenever they appeared. We didn't have Sky back then. We never had Sky actually. We never paid for Sky. We never did any of those. We only had the basic channels that Ireland could have. Because, well, we couldn't afford that uh, to get Sky or anything. So, we never even had internet in my house when we were, I was younger. So, yeah. I would just, whenever they'd show up on, like, uh, on BBC One or BBC Two or ITV, I would literally freak out, dance, and I would just, oh, it's so good. Like, tragedy, uh, But I want to say I have no idea, I have no idea how much of an impact uh, they had on my life. When I was younger, I would just be dancing like uh, like for the songs and stuff. Let's fast forward to after my college years when I was in my twenties. I didn't really know why I had social anxiety. Didn't well, I I knew I had something, but I didn't really know why it was called social anxiety. I didn't know what anxiety was. I didn't know. I barely knew what depression was. I just knew what sadness was. But the more time that passed by, the more slightly confident I got. I would start dancing. As I said. Back then, when I was a kid, I would dance so much for the fun of it. And I, then, as I got older, I would I was terrible at dancing, and I just never I was never good at dancing after that. I think that when I got into my teen years, I slept, I totally forgot about steps and dancing the steps and all that and S Club Seven. I it was in my brain that I knew, I, I danced those songs, but my dance moves it got out of whack, and I was terrible at dancing. 
because I remember one time I was at a, at a night out and some girl goes, wow, like, it was a friend of my friend, said, wow, you are a terrible dancer. And I was like, yeah, I know. And it's funny how from that moment on, I started to change in dance wise and in using dance as a form of alleviating stress or letting out confidence or something like that, I don't know. But I would never have learned how to dance, how to dance, I would never dance for fun if steps never existed. Like I tweeted them saying thank you so much for making a childhood dream come true of mine. Because when, as I said, when we were, I was younger, we had not too much money. We had enough money to get by. But anytime we go up to Dublin, it was always a treat. Like, Blanchardstown in Dublin, that's like, Blanchardstown is a small part of Dublin, not Dublin City, but Dublin in general. And we, it'd be like a treat to go up. We'd go up to like once a summer, up to Dublin or Blanchardstown. I'd say we go probably, at the most, five times a year. And we didn't have the much, as, that much money to go with concerts and stuff. Like we get to go to some concerts and stuff, but I like, my first concert wasn't until I was 18 years old or 16, and that was to uh, with a friend I went to, and that was Nickelback that I went to was my first concert. So I never got to go to any Steps concert. If if there were ever in Ireland, which it probably were, I never got to go to them because I never had the money to go to them. So when I did get to go, my like a couple of weeks ago my heart just exploded as well as my mind. Steps taught me so much in my life. This taught me to dance through the whole, like when I like when I fell down, I my like now, I feel when I feel down, I dance. I would dance, I don't give, I don't give two Fs about people looking at me for dancing. I will dance in the street, like recently my confidence has gone way up for dancing in the street. I will walk to the I walk through Dublin. I will start dancing. Uh, I will start doing steps of dancing, and I will not give two f's about the people that look at me. People will laugh. They will say whatever the f, f they want. It kind it kind of like felt like a a fire inside of me that was tiny, and as I got into my twenties, it started to spark and get bigger. Because the more that I go out in the street and just start walking along and dancing, like I, I dance all the time at work. There's times at work I get super stressed out and I can't handle it, so sooner or later I'll start to dance. And everyone in my workplace know that I dance because they've all seen me dance and they've all been like, well, what are you doing, Kieran? Because I'd be there like dancing and wait, I've been out to dance different quarters. I even won a, a fucking dance battle against a guy that <laughs> when I, we were out on quarterly one time. This was not a guy from work, this is just a random dude who literally started to, who challenged me to a dance off in a matter of seconds he came up because he saw how good I was. And like there's people that actually that say that you're, you say you're a good dancer, people say you're a good dancer but they're probably lying. But the thing is no, I've been told by absolute strangers like that I, I was Spider-Man for a kid's communion. And I, I danced as Spider-Man and some person that was like a cousin of my friend said, are you a professional dancer or something? Like, no, I'm not. So that's the, there. Like ever since that moment I said I couldn't dance, that my, some fire just ignited in me. It's funny, I'm even, this is just the like, drink responsibly people. I am actually a better dancer when I'm drunk than when I'm sober. Believe that. I know you won't, but I've actually been told. Like one person said, "How are you such a not, like a great dancer?" So basically, from now on, any time I get stressed or something, or like I'm get angry or sad or something, I will probably go out. I will start dancing. I was listening to music because music is one of the best ways to just just get lost in the world of your own world. While for me, I get lost in my own world and just let it music flow through me. You're not a bad dancer until you actually just let the music just flow through you. That's what I do and I'm actually a really good dancer. I even challenged, um, well, I inadvertently challenged Jack McLean uh, to uh, a dance-off whenever I get to London again at another YouTube gathering. Hopefully, that most likely I'll be sitsy, but I plan to challenge Jack McLean which he's not even going to watch this video, but I, I'm going to challenge Jack McLean 
to Dantov next time I see him. This is probably gonna like, come back really hard on me. It's gonna be ruining me because I'm saying I'm a good dancer. Then I find out because I've been told by his friends that he's a great dancer. So uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I want to learn a couple of new dance moves just to make sure that I don't completely embarrass myself. Whatever. <laughs> it's the actress I can't remember her name who plays Ali in Austin and Ali says dance like nobody's watching which I seem to like very recently I seem to link a lot with her music in Austin and Ali as, as I said in a previous video find something that does something like that to you if you're stressed out or sad or just feeling down Find something that I le that helps you alleviate that stress. Cause I luckily, thanks to steps, found a way to go and let go of that stress and just. Is, tell me down below if you have any bands that you loved as a kid that made you feel made you feel things or like you learn stuff from. Cause steps definitely taught me something. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subs thumbs up, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. See ya. See you later.